Hills, which is very close to Bulawayo, and uh, these amazing granite rock formations. I'm with Paul Hubbard, who is uh, from the National Museum in Bulawayo. There are about 3,500 rock art sites recorded in the Matobo Hills area, and uh, from archaeological research, it's estimated that there could be as many as 30,000 waiting to be discovered in this uh, landscape. One of our claims to fame here in the Matobo Hills is that we do have the highest concentration of such rock art sites anywhere in the world, at least according to UNESCO. It's very difficult to date the paintings themselves directly, but it is quite clear from the archaeological research that the paintings stopped being created around 1,500 years ago. And we do have evidence for painting activity extending back at least 13,000 years ago. So this fits in very neatly with the t time period called the Late Stone Age. The huge number of undiscovered rock art sites in the area means the visitor can even hope to find something new. Wandering off through the boulders, I got lucky myself. Here we go, looking around to find uh -huh, no, something here on the wall, rock wall. Definitely a deer and some other shapes. Oh, this is human figures. Oh wow, fantastic. Paul? Paul? Coming? Yeah, there's some here. Oh wow. Oh. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Um, Come see here, Jimmy. Come have a look. There's more oh, there's more here. here. Yeah, there's more here. A big human figure there. Have a look. Uh, Ostrich. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Fantastic one. You can even see both legs. Uh, the head and beak quite clearly defined. All in red though. You notice there's no other colours uh, used on this. Well, I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen this painting before. And to my knowledge, uh, just from the general geography of the area, it's not in the archaeological survey records. Oh, really? So you might well have found a brand new site here, mate. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Splendid. Do I get to name it? Of course you do. Anything you like. I call on guardian readers to suggest names. That's quite the, a good I idea. I think the ostrich is the most obvious. Yes. I like that name. 